here's an understatement for you. Alarms are important. If your alarming system is properly set up, there should never be any instances where you're ignoring alarms. This, however, is not always the case. So let's take a look at some common mistakes that might make alarms less effective and look at some better alternatives. The first alarming mistake we'll look at is not setting proper priority levels for alarms. Here we can see some level and speed set points and warning values set for a mixing tank. Let's take a look at the level warning values. We have a low, low warning at 40%, a low warning at 60%, a high warning at 96%, and a high, high warning at 98%. If there are alarms configured for each of these warning levels and the priority level is left at the default low priority level, then when viewing these alarms in the alarm status table, all of these alarms will appear as low priority. Let's take a look at alarm priorities and what might be a better solution than just leaving all of these alarms as the default low priority. There are five priority levels, diagnostic, low, medium, high, and critical. By taking the time to set an alarm to the relevant priority level, you can quickly and easily tell the severity of an alarm and address it. In our example for the mixing tank alarms, perhaps it makes sense to keep the low and high alarms as low priority, but set the low, low alarm as high priority and the high, high alarm as critical priority. An operator or someone tasked with overseeing alarms on this tank may want to filter their alarm table to only show higher critical alarms to focus on higher priority alarms only. Now let's take a look at another common mistake regarding alarms. The next mistake we'll look at concerning alarms is not setting the display path for alarms. If the display path is not set, a default display path will still be displayed in the alarm table, but it is often beneficial to those who are reacting to alarms, especially critical alarms, to have some additional information inside the display path. The display path can be accessed through a tag's alarms property in the tag editor, and is shown here under the alarms properties. The screenshot of the alarms table here shows what a default display path might look like. There are cases where perhaps it is desirable to show the default display path showing the path of the tag that the alarm is configured on, but this path can also be viewed in the source column and the tag paths aren't always in the most human readable format or descriptive. Sometimes there's information that can be used in the display path instead of just the tag path that can make the cause or location of the alarm more readily apparent as well as information on any action that should be taken regarding the alarm. Let's take a look at an example of setting this display path to something that might be a bit more useful than just the tag path. Here's an example of a display path that might be a bit more useful to operators and users or anyone that might need to monitor or react to alarms. This display path has an expression binding configured to help display some useful information. This particular alarm is a low alarm warning on a storage tank. The tank is storing a saline solution, and this alarm is set up to notify users when the current amount of gallons in the tank is too low. Instead of the generic tag path that was in the default display path, we are instead showing the UDT instance name, which in this case is tank 102, marked in green, the value of the content tag, which is another tag inside the tank UDT, which describes the ingredient held in the storage tank, which in this case is saline, marked in blue, and the name of the alarm itself, which is low, marked in orange. Each of the values in curly braces highlighted here by color wasn't typed into the expression manually, but, wasn't, but were instead generated by using the shortcuts shown on the right side of the screenshot, each highlighted by color to show where each value was pulled from. In addition to these values that we've brought into the expression to provide a more meaningful and useful description of the alarm, We've also added some instruction for action that should be taken, which in this case is refill immediately. Comparing this custom display path to the original default display path value, which recall was just the path of the tag that the alarm was configured on, we can see how beneficial it can be to take the time to properly configure a meaningful and easy to read display path for an alarm. And back over to you, Kent. Thanks, Derek. Uh, so let's just do a recap of alarm mistakes and solutions. If alarm priority isn't set, uh, all alarms will be set to the default low priority. Instead, it's often best to set appropriate alarm priority to help dictate alarm severity. Also, it's often useful to set uh, the display path for an alarm to show information that might be more useful than just the alarm's tag path. 